Hi everybody, my name is Leon Chen and welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. Today we're going to be talking about our Z170 XP SLI motherboard and tell you the different features that it has with an unboxing and overview. So let's get to it. So right off the bat you can actually see that we're, we have a special character on this box, Arthas from Heroes of the Storm. Now if you guys want to find more information about the Heroes of the Storm sweepstakes as well as our limited edition promotion that we're doing with Blizzard, please feel free to click the link right here and it'll bring you to another video. Alright, so talking about the box right here, let's go over the features around the box and then we'll break it down into the board for you. So. For our Z170 XP SLI, it is using the Z170 chipset from Intel. It has an LJ1151 socket for the 6th generation core processors from Intel as well. And we're supporting the DDR4, the new DDR4 standard in memory. As well as we also have a USB Type-C connector, as well as support for the USB 3.1 transfer. Okay, so to the back of the board. Right here we're talking about that same USB 3.1 and we'll show you the connector when we actually get down to the board level. This board actually supports multi-graphics, so two-way SLI with three-way crossfire. It has M.2 capabilities as well as a USB Type-C connector. It also has the famously known Gigabyte Dual BIOS technology as well as uh, durable gold-plated sockets for the CPU as well as the DDR slots. It has a Turbo B clock chip, we'll, which we'll explain a little bit more in detail. And it, it also supports our Gigabyte exclusive Amp Up Audio technology, which includes high quality audio capacitors as well as our Audio Noise Guard uh, Trace Path LED. And of course, it has great internet functionality with an Intel Gigabit LAN. So let's get down onto the board and we'll show you guys what comes inside the box. All right, so right here in front of you is everything that you're gonna get uh, out of the, that motherboard box. We have a rear IO shield, a multilingual installation guide, the owner's manual or user's manual, four SATA cables, that uh, two of them which are right angle connectors and two being straight cables, an SLI bridge that's also included, and then an ultra durable badge as well as a G connector and of course the latest drivers for you to install with your computer. In it you're also going to get, because it's a limited edition Heroes of the Storm packaging, you're going to get a door hanger to prevent people from coming into your room when you're actually playing games. You can actually tell them not to disturb you. And also a Heroes of the Storm pamphlet. Now this is actually just to tell you that we have a sweepstakes going on till December 31st and you can actually click the link or click here to find out more information and we have another video for you that tells you about it. So let's get over to the board and we'll tell you guys what's on it and what it has to show you. Alright, so over here to the board, this board like we mentioned earlier is using the 100 series, the Skylake platform, and it supports that 6th generation core processor. So it's an LGA 1151 socket, it has 4 slots for DDR4, that's dual channel as well, an ATX 24 pin connector, 2 USB 3.0 front panel pin headers, so you get a total of 4 USBs in the front, and of course, with the new Skylake platform, you're going to get three SATA Express ports. So you can actually connect to three different SATA Express drives. Now these are all native to Intel this time around. We also right here have our front panel pin headers. And this is where that G connector comes into place. Earlier we were showing you guys a G connector. What it does is it actually allows you to connect your front panel uh, cables to the connector before connecting it onto the motherboard that's already seated in your case. Now it's useful because it actually has a lower Z height and it also clips on to the front panel cables so when you're actually removing one of the cables the whole connector will come with it. So it's useful for rather than getting this connector stuck inside your board you can actually take it out which is kinda nice. Moving over we also have USB 2.0's that's two of them here we have our TPM, a uh, trusted platform module, and then we also have an LPT port uh, pin header. So for those of you guys that have some legacy devices, this is definitely a board that will support those. We also have a COM port and your front panel audio connectors. So right here is basically our exclusive amp up audio technology zone where we have the audio capacitors and we have our noise, uh, noise guard LED trace path right here as well. The board has 
three PCI Express slots, full full slots for you to use for multi-graphic support. And earlier we mentioned that this board supports two-way SLI and three-way crossfire. If you're using two-way SLI, you'd want to use the top two PCI Express slots. And for crossfire, the PCI Express lanes are actually coming from the chipset here. So for those of you guys that are interested in that, um, that's where the PCI Express lanes are coming from. It also has two PCI slots for you to use for legacy devices, as well as an additional two PCI Express by ones. And right next to it, we have that Turbo B clock. And this Turbo B clock's good for users that want to get a little bit more out of their system. They want to do some overclocking. They, they bought an i5 processor and they want to make it an i7. So this is what you can use, the Turbo B clock. Traditionally, you were actually limited to only 100 or 133 or 167 megahertz frequencies for your base clock. What this chip does, it actually unlocks that and it gives you the range from 90 to 200 and you can actually choose between anything that you want in there. Right above that, we have our M.2. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with M.2, this is basically the next generation of form factor for storage. This one has a transfer rate of about 32 gigabits per second, where your SATA connector, your traditional SATA, is only at 6, and your SATA Express is at 16. So, a lot faster if you're able to use an M.2, definitely something I would recommend, and we go up to the 80 millimeter length for you. So, all of these are right here on the board. Now, let's go to the rear I.O., and we can show you what other connect connectivity options you, you have available to you. So right here you have your PS2 port. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but it's still nice for those of you guys that are gaming out there. They like that legacy support. It's something that a lot of them like to use. We have two USB 2.0s, a DVI-I, as well as a D-Sub. And then also we have the USB Type-C connector. Now this Type-C actually has USB 3.1 because on the box it had that 3.1 capability. And then we have a red USB which is our USB 3.1 in your standard A connector. Our USB 3.0 in the blue that you guys are all familiar with. And then HDMI right here. And then we also have an additional two more USB 3.0s. And then our Intel Gig E. And then our audio connectors. So this basically breaks it down for this board, the Z170 XP SLI. If you guys want more information, check out the comments below or the information below and we'll link you over to our page. And also be sure to check out our other videos and like and subscribe our page. Thanks guys.